But are, are you German? No, I'm not. Where I'm South Africa. I'm South African. Ah, that's right. The little flag. Yeah, now I see. I, I remember. I've, I saw this, this flag. And okay, okay. Wow, it's yes. a long way. It is, yes. But I mean, I haven't come straight from 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 South Africa. I uh, I, I I lived in the UK for a long time, mm. and um, I, I Sweden for a bit as well. But uh, I also studied at Coventry, and I just discovered ah. that that you did for a little yeah, bit as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was um, yeah, I was there a long time ago in ninety ninety six or ninety five, something like that. Wow. And what was that experience like? Do you want to talk about that? Yeah, we can we can start with this actually. Uh, actually, I was I was studying um, product design in um, in France in Paris. Yeah. In, on, in an applied art school. And uh, one of my friends, uh, I don't know, he was fed up with Paris and the French uh, education or, or something. And he just convinced me that we should go somewhere else. And then he said, I found a school. And, uh, you know, at the time, no internet, not, not, you know what I mean? Was, everything was very mysterious in a way because there's no, you cannot just open your laptop and check what it is, what is possible. And he talked about this, this school. We've heard about that, but it was quite difficult to know about this. And uh, so thanks to him, I, I get to know the school. And I said, OK, let's go. Let's try. And I met... Uh, uh, Mr. Brown there, he was the the head of the vehicle design or transportation design uh, David course. Brown? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's still, he, I mean, he was still there when I was there, but I think he's retired now. I think so. Oh, yeah. I hope so for him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's kind of a long time ago. And he was very nice, so I just sent him a portfolio. And at the time, you know, portfolio was you, you had to do some uh, copies and it was on paper and... Uh, and it was, yeah, it was great. So we sent that and he proposed me to come to the second year. And that's why I've started. But, but for me, it was not great because second year, uh, my level was already above because of my education in France, you know, but he, he, he didn't want to, to, to change that. And, uh, and then I, that's why I stayed just a few months, you know, because I applied uh, to uh, RCA afterwards. Mm -hmm. And um, and I had a, I could go to RCS, so I just I just stopped my studies in Coventry, like a, around uh, I don't remember, like a, April, April, something like that. So that's why I stayed from from October to to April in second year of transportation design, and then I went to London afterwards. So that's why I have a very short uh, experience in the in in Coventry. Ah, okay. But did you finish your did you finish your industrial design degree in in France? Yes, I did. Actually, ah, I just okay. I, I, I prepared sense. while I okay. was pass, I had my uh, while I, I was finishing the, my 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 uh, BA basically uh, of a pro, of product design industrial design. I was uh, applying for Coventry at the same time. Wow. Okay. And um, so, who who were the guys in your year at uh, at RCA? I was with uh, Nicky Smart. I don't know if you know Nicky Smart. He was no. a guy who, who went to GM, he, if you, and now he's in Archer. And um, Joe Baker. And I mean, some guys, they went to the few of my friends, they went to, to the US, the, the both of them. And um, other guys, but I uh, don't remember. And uh, sometimes I, I, I meet them in some events, but we, we, we didn't stay really close. Okay. But, yeah. Well, Stefan, did you, um, did you set out to become a car designer or did that kind of happen by mistake after ending up in, in the UK? No, no, no. It was really because we, we wanted to be car designer. And in France at the time, the, it didn't exist really. Uh, in the system, in the in the educational system, if you want, uh, the, you just do industrial design. I think at the time maybe one um, one school started to do this, but it was um, quite expensive and not very well known at the time. So that's why for us the only way was to go uh, to art center in uh, in Switzerland uh, or RCA, where the the two greatest school to, to, to study such a thing. Uh, obviously, 
uh, art center was super expensive uh, at the time and the, the RCA was not that expensive but the problem with RCA is that it was expensive to live in London uh, living in London uh, yeah. but the great thing uh, at the time also it was that um, you could go to a car manufacturer and ask for uh, uh, money basically you know to be sponsored so I did some uh, interviews at um, at the time it was Rover and uh, Renault and uh, and Renault they just uh, offer me to to pay for RCA uh, fees plus uh, I had a, an amount of money per month being able to to live in London you know wow so actually I was already kind of a Renault employee even while I was a student but it was quite common in uh, 96, 97 in my in my class, uh, many guys they were uh, sponsored by companies. So uh, Rover, Volkswagen, uh, Hyundai, uh, Peugeot. I mean, may, Citroen. Many many guys they were already uh, uh, kind of part of the company before starting. That's that. That's something that I get asked a lot now. You know, there's a lot of kids that that maybe want to study car design and they just. They, there's just no ways that they can they can afford it, you know, and I and and it's I think it it becomes a supply and demand thing, right? In those days, there there was um, there was maybe a demand for more designers, and now there's way more designers than yeah. there are jobs. So I I you know that sort of thing is very rare now, if if yeah. if at all. It it is because, and what is difficult when I, when I, I meet young guys, even interns, you know. They are so good because they, they are doing uh, internships, you know, they are doing so many of them in big companies and they are learning so much. So sometimes some of them, they have, I don't know, they spend a year or two years uh, being uh, intern, interns in, a, in Porsche, in Mercedes, wherever. And when they get a job, they are really good, you know. But somehow, it, at the time, it was the opposite, you know. When, when a company hired you, they, they knew that it would, it would take time for you to be pro. So I remember it was very, very, very nice at the beginning. You know, your, your boss, he would, uh, he would uh, let you uh, take your time. He knew that it would take a year or two years, you know, for you to be really uh, good. But, uh, and that's maybe why the investment, you know, was, it was a long-term investment for them. So mm -hmm. they knew so that when they could, when they thought that you, you were good, they, they took their time. They know they would invest at least one or two years afterwards. So that's why they, you know, for them it was um, something important. So they take their, they took their time. They, it was it was something serious. But for us now, when we we have some portfolios and things, it's, uh, I mean, the kids they're so good. But it's, insane, it's easier yeah. for us, you know, as manager. But for for them, it's uh, it's not as cool as it used to be. To be honest, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, th I mean, th there's no two ways about it. The, the business has definitely changed so much. And I think what it means to be a car designer today is not necessarily what it was 20 years ago. Um, yeah. And, uh, and, but I, 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 I wonder, like, what is your, what are your thoughts on um, the soft skills that are maybe lacking in 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 graduates today? I mean, you know, there, there's there's, I think I think you're definitely right in terms of um, being able to sketch and draw and render and visualize and and all that sort of stuff. But do you do you feel that there's something that there's anything missing from 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 some of the graduates that you see today? Uh, I don't know if it's really, yeah, maybe, I don't know if it's missing, but when we have discussions with my colleagues or, you know, that, that my generation, we, we receive so many good portfolios because, as you said, because thanks to internet, you can see the best things, uh, what is happening all around the world. So you can be inspired, you can copy, you can be even better. So the skills are amazing. And they do uh, Blender and Alias and, and uh, some of them now they do uh, animations and stuff. So it's, 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 but the thing is that sometimes we, we don't see the difference. We, it's difficult to remember, oh, which guy are you talking about? Which portfolio? Oh, you know, the one who did uh, that car. But uh, it's difficult to remember because the level is quite high and sometimes the things are quite similar. So sometimes we thought what is a bit missing, but it's maybe not their fault. It's just maybe because of the system. It's difficult to find personalities, you know, people that have a, a very strong uh, 
uh, I don't know if it works in English, but universe. You see what I mean? You know. Uh, yeah. So that that that's maybe what is is mi- I would say missing. You you know, for us, it's we yeah. we we'd like to have somebody who is going to bring something special. So that's what we're looking for, and it's a bit more than skills. You know, we are looking for personalities. So that's what I would say today. How, what do you think is the reason for that? I mean, is that do you, would you say that's possible because everybody's going to the same reservoir of of inspiration? inspiration. Yeah, that's what I think. That's what I think is they are not lacking of personalities, of course. Uh, they are not lacking of that. Plenty of the, of these uh, women and men, they are they are great. But I think that, yeah, the inspiration and the system makes them a bit a bit look alike, you know, just because of you said as you said inspiration. And we all have the same kind of inspiration right now. So, and we all have all of us. We have access to the same uh, kind of inspiration on Pinterest and Instagram, and sometimes we share. And um, that's that's maybe why you you. So it's good and bad because you you all of them are really good because they have the best inspiration and they know how to do the best things and they can challenge the best designers or the best uh, you know uh, renders or whatever. But on the other hand, you don't have the advantage of uh, having a special inspiration that is your own, you know? Yeah. At, the, I'm, I'm, at the time, if I talk about my experience, you could have found a book, a rare book of something that nobody knows or an artist or whatever, and then, then it's kind of an adv- advantage for you, you know? You yes, have the, yes. uh, very few people have that book or they don't even know about it or maybe the place they, where they live, they are not interesting bookstores, I don't know. But you know, you you know what I mean. The difference yes, between yeah. that era and now, where you have access to everything. I I I totally under I, I totally understand what you're saying, and I think like I mean, if, you know, if you if if I just talk about like South Africa, for example, you know, there's no end of unique um, inspiration that you can draw from there. The problem is that I see from you know some of the some of the kids that are maybe coming out, not just South Africa, but Africa in general, is that. The insp- they've got tons and tons of inspiration, but then what is maybe missing is is the craft. You know, the 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 ability to 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 um, create something credible, and it's the 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 merging of those two things, which I think is 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 maybe the the secret sauce in terms of moving forward and and really getting attention of um, you know the 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 big brands. Mm-hmm. Um, Stefan, I, I, I wanted to ask you a little bit about your time at RCA in terms of what it was that, that, um, was so special about that period that you, that you got out of that experience. But I think the, what was great about RCA, first of all, I think it was just London, you know, being in London and, uh, being, um, mixed with other students that actually your mates, they, they were the one who inspired you, you know, at that time. So actually the, 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 the tutor or the head of the department, uh, it was, they had a very important role because they, they created a kind of, uh, it was a kind of casting, you know, they, 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 they kind of recruit kind of people. They knew they would live together for, for two years and just 15 People and um, I think they try to create that kind of uh, you know atmosphere where where people we share we learn from each other and that that what I, uh, I felt was great at uh, the time in RCA and again because no internet or such a thing really uh, being in London you know was um, it's such a big uh, interesting city so lively with so much culture the the mix was great for for us you know. And um, yeah, in, in my course, by the way, many guys were uh, successful afterwards. You know, I, mean, I was with uh, Joseph Caban, for instance. Wow. You know, he was in my, in my course. He was already, uh, at the time, he was already the best, of course. <laughs> but it's funny because you can feel, you can feel the, the people with their potential, you know, a very, even at, the, at a very young age. Were you guys kind of sharing with each other? You mean, or was it, or was it very much like, like helping each other out in terms of, in terms of, um, like sketching, drawing, thinking, yeah. coming up with new ideas and ways of doing things. Yeah, yeah, we 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 did definitely because it was both. You know, you had both that um, competition thing. You know, a bit of fight, 
but also admiration or you know you want to learn from because they're also your friend so so that, that actually it's quite interesting that ba that balance it's what also is happening in some studios you know you 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 would like to do as good as your 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 colleague or and sometimes your colleague is your your good very good friend well that, i think that's the 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 right thing you know so you you need that that competition but that fair competition you know like i don't know when you do a uh, you're a tennis man or whatever, whoever, you know, you're doing a match and there's a kind of fair thing. Uh, I think it, sh it should be such a thing. And, some, and, and sometimes it, it was like that. So I think that's the best. But uh, Stefan, tell me something. What is your, um, your the, th the 3D, what was happening with regards to 3D at that time at RCA? Were you guys playing around with Alias then or was yeah. it all, all still clay? So in 96, 90, even before my, my course, it was the very beginning of uh, Alias. I don't even know if it was Alias. I didn't, it was like I, Wavefront or something. Yeah, right? maybe yeah. something, one of the first tools. And um, I just, we just tried a little bit some of the, I remember to have tried to have a kind of a tutorial just to let you know a bit how it works. But uh, it was not the mainstream, you know, uh, it was not mainstream. Uh, most of us, we would have, we 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 did our model by ourselves by hand, clay or or fiberglass or you know that kind of thing. So uh, I, myself, I, I didn't really learn at that time uh, 3D softwares, but some of the students they 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 knew that it would be the next big thing, and some of them invest a lot of time and they did. And I remember the year before my my, my degree, it was uh, I think it was uh, Jan is it Jan Matthews maybe. Not yet Matthews, no. Matt, Matt Beaver, maybe. Oh, Matt uh, Bevan. Yeah, Bevan, Bevan, sorry. Bevan, yeah. Bevan, yeah. I'm sorry for, yeah, for him because okay. I just uh, I haven't met him for <laughs> 20, 20, 25, 30 years probably. But anyway, wow. I think he's still in Jaguar, right? He's, he he's is still in yeah, Jaguar, yeah. yeah. yeah so he's a super guy. talented guy. And I think he was one of the first guys in RCA to do the great. You know, he did an animation. He was a kind of caterpillar brand inspired SUV, sporty SUV, something. And he was one of the first. I remember with just having the 3D with the animation, just wow. the, the thing moving at the time was wow. <laughs> you know? That's uh, it's very common now. Wow, yeah, that's that, that's pretty that's pretty incredible. But I mean, I, I it was I think there's also a lot to be said for actually um, you know developing something in clay as well. You know, even for for designers to really understand uh, form. Is that was 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 the RCA the first time you played around with that sort of thing? Yeah, yeah, for my for myself, yeah. In France, I don't remember that we had such a thing. But yeah, for me, the first time I had to to see how it works, uh, that kind of software was in RCA. I remember, yeah. And did did the, did Renault help you out with your model at all in terms of no, making no, no. It? At, the, at the time, no, nobody really. Uh, no, the company they, they didn't really help you, help you. Um, you could ask for it, but um, it didn't happen for me. I remember some, some maybe when, when your company was based in the UK, it was easier to get some stuff done. Sometimes it was just painting, you know, that kind of difficult things to do in a, yes. in a college. But, but most of the guys, they did by themselves. I think it was the good thing with that, especially when my generation, when you started to work, you had to work with modelers, you know, uh, so, uh, not alias modelers at the beginning, very few. Uh, it, it was almost not existing. You had to work with, uh, with uh, I would say, proper modeler, you know, phys physical modelers. And then it was important to understand their job. And they were uh, also, they were, uh, the respect or the uh, understanding of each other was, uh, was okay because of that. You know, you can understand that, oh, this is difficult to make or... Or this and the, and sometimes you could make take some tools and tr and show what what you want to do even if you're not of course as good as them but you you could at least show some stuff so yeah for, uh, from from it was important for for in, in in the course to to learn that because afterwards you you could have a much better relationship with your team. Stefan, can we just? Go back a second to um, you know coming to this 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 moment of of wanting to study car design for yourself. I know you said like you and your friend were sick of Paris and you guys wanted to go and try something else. Um, but was the 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 passion for cars and 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 design was that something that you had from an early age? 
Yeah, yeah. Actually, I was uh, when I was young, I was very much interesting by by the by drawings and comics books and you know that that kind of stuff. So it's my my first interest was was illustration, drawing before design. And then uh, I I started to do uh, uh, applied art school, but before in France we have baccalaureat, which I don't know in 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 English what it would be, but uh, uh, never mind. What I, I mean is that most of the students they do uh, their study, they they do like like general uh, things, you know, mathematics and English and whatever. And then I, I pick something a bit special where you you start to study uh, applied art very early, you know, like at at fourteen years old. Wow! And uh, but the, the 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 problem with that is that you have to find a job in that era because you cannot shift to I don't know uh, mathematics uh, or I don't know so, uh, very nice important. School. I couldn't go to Oxford or you know that kind of school. You know what I mean? Yes, or, yes. Or university. So it was a difficult choice uh, to make because uh, even your parents, you know, they were afraid, you know, say, oh, you're, you're going right now in that, in that direction and then you, you kind of can't go back, you know. But I was not a great student anyway, so <laughs> it was better for me to go in that direction. So, and when I started to do this, I, what, it was great because we could, we could have a little, um, uh, we could study a little bit of everything. So you do a little bit of architecture, uh, art history, uh, painting with gouache, with watercolor, a bit of photography. We, we, we even learned how to, to, I don't know, say in English, to, to at the time was no digital, so to really make the... I develop your own developing, photos. Yeah, developing yeah, yourself. Yeah. So what you, 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 would have, you, you were never a, a pro or very good at each of these, but that, during that training, you can, you can have an idea of, of all the kind of uh, job you can do in that, in that field, you know? And, uh, and that's how I, I discovered the product design and the and cars. I like very much cars already, and the, but more than cars, I, I was I was really interested by aircraft. I knew I knew much more aircraft than cars. You know, oh, I wow. could recognize any aircraft or from very easily. You know, the I knew everything when I was very young. So it was not. I loved cars, aircraft, machines. You know, all that kind of stuff. But uh, but the main interest was not that. Was really the the, the drawing. And that's why my first, before to start uh, product design, actually, I did uh, one year in, um, in a course, a BA course for uh, uh, communication and graphic and stuff like that, you know, to, to work in advertising agencies and stuff like that, making logos and stuff like that. So that was my first move, actually. My first choice was this. And, and, uh, and when I was in the school doing this, uh, some of my my friends or they were doing product design in a, in another room, and I found out that was much more interesting, and I moved. Ah, so you by the time you finished school, you kind of you you knew that it was viable, that it was possible to work as a creative. Yeah, yeah. Because I think like that that um I mean I I was I think there's like ten years roughly ten years between us and and um. Again, I you know I did come from a very small town in in uh, in South Africa, so there is um, a lot to be said for that. But the 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 thinking was always that you know if you if you study art or something creative, that you are going to be struggling for the rest of your life, yeah. and you're not going to be able to make a success of yourself. So I think that that um, it sounds like that experience, particularly at such a young age, had a very positive effect on on you in terms of your following your creative passion and yeah, your, yeah. your tendencies. You're definitely right. Actually, that's before starting. That's what you said in your family, your, your, your friends, everybody would said what you said, you know, like, Oh, but you would never find a job. And, uh, but when you, you start to do the course and you start to do with the teachers and the, you know, much more about that, that, that field and, and you see that it's possible. And then you're more and more motivated and you start to, to really uh, enjoy, you know, and not being afraid, just afraid. You're just enjoying and you, you go forward. 
So this this school that you attended, Stefan, was this act, so it was a, like a, a high school, but yeah, it it's was high school, but yeah. focused on the creative yeah. disciplines. That's what it was. Yeah. Wow, that's that's mega. That's that's really really cool. That's yeah. really really. Yeah, that's 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 amazing. Because some people, I mean, I you know, I only d- kind of discovered the whole world of industrial design, car design in when I arrived in London. Actually, I mean, yeah. I finished school and I was eighteen, didn't know what I wanted to do, and me and a group of friends went to um, London on a on a gap year. You know, so I, f- I found out about this very late. You know, mm. and I still pursued it, but you know, I just think about how. Um, you know how much more beneficial how, how much more um uh, beneficial it would have been if i had discovered it like in my early teens like you did it sounds very special mm. um sorry uh, um yeah. uh stefan i i have to um before we get into like all the i don't know reno stuff and whatever i i need to say that your your sketches are like if I see one of them, it's like I immediately know they belong to you. And I think that one of the qualities that stand out for me is that you almost, you know, there, there's there's definitive sections in in and a very clear intention in terms of surface treatment when you sketch something, even if it's a rough sketch. You know, you it's very clear what your intention is. But what it, to me is so unique about it is that there is no there's no stiffness in it you know it's not like a a technical drawing it's like this perfect balance where you kind of make these like architectural even a straight line is somehow has feeling and emotion in it i wonder if you could talk to me a little bit about how you develop this 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 the style of yours yeah i think it's um Maybe it's because we 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 didn't have any any other tools than than your hand and paper at the time. So your job is to is to give uh, informations to your modeler basically. That's and and the and your job is is not to make a nice drawing, but to to make a nice car, a nice concept car, whatever, a, a physical object at the end of the day. So actually, the thing is that of course you want to make a nice drawing, but but if you are not lying to yourself and you don't think about, oh, I'm going to make a nice drawing, and then you really use drawings to think, and then also to think and to, 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 to share with other people, and you just forget about, oh, it has to be beautiful, then I think it brings something different. Different, sorry. You know what I mean? It's it's and it's what yeah. I'm saying. Sometimes the drawings, are, um, especially the the, the the rough sketches, uh, when I make them, I don't know I'm going to sh- to show them. I don't know yet. It's just after a few days or few weeks, you have a look to the thing and you you pick the one that that because you have a fresh eye, a fresh look at, at at them, and you see which one can be nice or m- maybe. And, but, but the first uh, thing you do, you shouldn't think about, oh, I'm going to make something nice. That's, that's the way I work. So I have plenty of ugly stuff. And, but, but I think it's, I use really them to, to, to design, actually. I use them to, oh, maybe it could be like that. Maybe this and this. And, uh, and it's, it's a tool, you know. And, um, and I think most of the designers, maybe they think, oh, I should be efficient. And every, st- every time I make something, it has to be presentable. You know, I can, I have to be able to, to show it to my boss or to whoever. And, um, I think it's, it's worth, uh, doing plenty of stuff for yourself to think and not lying really to yourself. You see what I mean by, by lying to yourself. You know what I mean? It's just, yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So that. I don't know. That's maybe why it's a bit a bit different. I don't. I don't know. It's my explanation. I don't know if it's the uh, the, the the right thing. That's what. I, how I would uh, uh, analyze uh, this. But it seems like it's very it's very rooted in in um, the the product design illustration principles you know in terms of like perspectively i mean from a perspective standpoint there's a there's everything always looks bang on but for me the 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 unique thing is that it, it's not stiff you know it's like it's um I, I it's so difficult to to put it into words you know but i i um 
yeah, it's 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 very very unique and, and very very special with not a lot of uh, um, uh, Photoshop. You know, it's just like yeah. very light c- colors, brush. Like the 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 idea is definitely king, and the sketch is king. Yeah. You- Actually, have I'm lucky because I can do this because I'm I'm a, I'm a manager and I have a team with me. So to be honest, it would be more difficult for me to compete if I was a designer to compete with such uh, kind of drawings in, in my in the company, for instance, because the the illustration the the my, my designers are making are amazing. You know, they are just so beautiful. So it's also I think a, a tool that I'm using because I know that I can. I just have to inspire people or to give them direction or or to share what I'm thinking of, you know, because with these drawings, I, I'm, I'm also showing many pictures, mood boards and stuff. And actually, I'm, I'm creating a thing which is um, very, uh, something uh, make, made for, for my role. So that's may, maybe why also it's a bit different from what you see, you know, because most of the manager, usually when they start to be managers, they stop, they stop sketching. Uh, and... Um, and that's maybe why you know you do, nobody's really walking my way. The, and but but I've I've developed that. I don't want to, I don't make a sketch and I ask designer, oh you should do this. It's just for me. I do all these sketch sketches most of the time. I do them at the beginning of the project. It's a kind of a brief. It's a brief, you know. So I just show guys who have to do this. Here is my brief. We have to do this, this, this. And I've already started to think about this, this, this. And frankly, and I'm always fair, you know, I'm saying if somebody comes with a much better idea and, uh, and with something I found much better myself, uh, just uh, I'm honest, you know, I'm, just, I'm not thinking, oh, I want to do my thing and I, I, I want to beat that guy. I don't have to beat him. He's, my t- he's in my team. So the, the, the deal is that I'm showing everything I have before and afterwards I'm not, I'm not sketching anymore. You know, I'm wow. not. So that, that's the deal I make also because I want in the team, I want everybody to be happy. I want myself to be happy also because I want to be, have the feeling, you know, I'm part of the project and I'm not, I'm not just the guy who is uh, uh, picking a sketch and uh, uh, doing some interviews afterwards, you know. I, yeah, I want to be, uh, I have a role, I'm a designer too. And I, I don't want to be also, you know, the guy, I'm a designer, you are my slaves, you know. So I, I want, I want to, I try to find the right uh, process. So that's yes. the process I, I use. And uh, if you if you if you go to my website and you see the all the sketches I show are the sketches my only my proper sketches. And when you see the car that has been done afterwards, you see it's very different most of the time. So and I I put the name of all the designers and everybody. So I, I just want to show the process. You know, sometimes if I take uh, Renault Trezor for instance, you know this coupe. Fuck. You, I, you, I, you see, yeah. you see, my yes. sketches are, are they have nothing to do with the the, the final uh, concept, but you see the ideas, some of the ideas or the intention or some materials I wanted to 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 put in the car, and this I think this project really showing the the, the way I work. You know, I can show something super stiff. To be honest, it's, my design is too stiff, but I don't I don't mind because it's as you said, it's to show. It's I use it not as a final design, but to show ideas and concepts. And even if it's very stiff, it doesn't matter actually. I just show oh, I could be like that or give that feeling. And and then you see the designers, they can transform that into something beyond stamps better. But that's the great thing about the teamwork, you know. St- uh, Stefan, on the subject of creating um still as a as a manager, I you know, there's there's, there's I, it seems I spoke to Axel Bruyne recently and it yeah. seems like you know you um I don't know if it's a Renault thing, but I know it is not very common that um, somebody in your position is still creating as much as you are. One of the other guys that comes to mind is, in fact, Matt Bevan as well. You know, he was, I mean, I I worked with him briefly um, at at Jaguar, I don't know, seven seven years ago, maybe eight years ago. Um, But I know that he was one of those guys that was not necessarily... um, I, w- I wouldn't necessarily say that uh, see him as a as a as a d- design director you know as a head of a whole brand but he's like he's so instrumental in the creative process in terms of in terms of the vision and and inspiring everybody and um he seems to 
and it seems like you are you you are in that category as well where you have moved up uh, within the company and you have have you know you leading you leading teams um but you still haven't lost sight of the of what got you into it in the first place you know you still are holding on to um the creative process which is why we work so hard to get into this business yeah i think but you 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 just mentioned it i think i was always surprised by people that are dreaming becoming car designers since they are i don't know eight years old and suddenly at i don't know 35 something they become manager and that and they don't sketch anymore they don't create anymore and uh, that's something which is uh weird to me also in you know the so but anyway, I, I, I'm not judging. I, I, I mean, yeah. it works very well. I mean, some of the, the the managers, you know, they're really good at at, at leading, and and at the end of the day, the, the cars are, are, can be amazing, even if you don't do any sketch, you know. So yeah. it's not it's not a matter of being better on or, or or not, but it's true that that when you're really passionate about it, I think it's difficult to not acting like like uh, Matt or myself uh, we do. And um, also because I like very much uh, uh, applied art in general, you know. I, I love architecture and uh, and uh, fashion design or whatever. I mean, I'm, and I, when you, you, you look at all these fields, different fields, and you see that the way they work is different too, you know. They, they have the thing with, you know, the architects, you know, they have the team also. Uh, they have a project manager and, and, and certain levels of architects in their team. But but what's funny because at the end of the day they they have their name, you know, uh, it's yes, attached it's, to it, it's attached to, to them. So they 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 are involved also a different way of what we do in company. In companies, we are hired by a brand, and there's a brand. The, the name is the brand. So and but you you see that that's why the, the relationship relationship is maybe different. But architects or fashion designer, you see they work that way. You are they're giving uh, art direction. And, and you mentioned that 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 you know art direction. That's something I, I, I'd like to do, and uh, maybe that's uh, something we don't do in car companies because you are even the process in big car companies is is much more something industrial than than arty or artistic. You know what I mean? So so that's maybe why our, our culture in big companies is different. But I think we should we should be all in our field. We should be art directors. How would you differentiate? art direction as opposed to being a car design director like a, a head of a brand yeah i think it's um the the maybe the old way would be just to 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 make drawings and then you become a manager and then you you pick the drawing of somebody else and you give some you know uh comments because you have experience oh the car seems too heavy that that part and blah 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 and the line should be a two centimeter or two millimeters lower or higher and and that's it you know it's kind of uh, your it's more like you're selling you are using your experience to to help younger guy to make a car that's what we we, we did before but now because brand even branding brand identity communication is so important you you need to be like like fashion designers you need to be uh, almost leading advertising logos everything and that's what i think we we move to art direction ah I mean, okay yeah. It's what I mean by art direction. Actually, maybe you, it's one of the same uh, meaning. But if I look at um, you know the, the the guy in charge of uh, Dior or Saint Laurent, you know, uh, I mean at the time was Edith Sliman. The guy is in, is al almost taking pictures of the models, you know, himself. I think even Lagerfeld sometimes did it for Chanel, and he has an opinion about how the the, the catwalk, you know, uh, would be uh, designed and the music. Is this actually is designing everything, and I think now it's our role is to 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 be able to do all of this. So it's not it's and and to do so you have to have concepts and you have to give um, concepts and our direction to many different people. So to answer to your to your question, you of course you give uh, direction to your designers, but I used to have many meetings with the the suppliers we were we're working with to make the the boost. In the in the Frankfurt show, or the guys that are doing to do the pictures for the the advertisings too, you know. So suddenly you have to create new 
uh, documents that you didn't have to deal with before to explain what your design is about, what this project is about, what the company is about. So I think that's why our job is, is slightly different as a manager. Is that not something that then becomes a, a fight with marketing, for example? Yeah. I mean, there's many fights because actually not only us, but uh, marketing and communication. So, so frankly speaking, depending on the, 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 how your department is powerful within the company, you know, for instance, in, in Renault, at the time with Patrick Le Clément and uh, even uh, now with uh, Lawrence Van den Acker, he's very powerful within the company. You know, he used to, uh, to report to, uh, to the CEO. Yes. In that case, suddenly design becomes very strong and then they can, they can work same level than marketing. But there's also communication that sometimes they're similar to marketing and product planning also that it's a bit similar to design sometimes. So it depends on the company. But to be honest, the, the best would be to have one guy uh, strong enough to lead all this. And uh, maybe the best example would be uh, Thomas Ingelat in, in, uh, in Polestar. Right. Somehow because he was a designer and become a CEO, he can have an opinion about almost everything, uh, all the topics about his, his brand. I think that's the dream, you know, for maybe not for us, but for a company that's probably the best in order to have the, the best design because design is not only the shape of the car, it's the way it's uh, market, uh, it's, uh, it's shown on internet or on a, uh, during a show, you know, it's, it's all as important as the design itself, I think now. But then the profile of somebody like, like that to um, be able to do a job like that is not necessarily somebody that would then go to design school, learn how to design a car and then move on. I mean, it could be, but it yeah. could also be somebody else. You know, it could be somebody completely different. Yeah, so that's, that's funny because that's uh, exactly what would happen. If, if you as a designer in a big company, you say, oh, I can deal with communication and marketing or, or then the guys from marketing can say, yeah, but then I can also deal with design and, and so on. And then... I don't know if I'm, I'm fair in that, in that case, but I think it's, it's maybe more difficult to deal with cars than uh, with images or marketing. So I would say that that's why I think Thomas Ingelat is really good is because he has, it's, I think it's very difficult to make a car and to understand design. You know, even this, among designers, even product designers, uh, making a car, it's, it's maybe the most, most complex thing you can do. Yes. You know, as a, as a yes. I guess model, you know even better than I do. It's it's such a complex shape, and um, and even to it's I think it's more it's as probably as difficult as fashion design. You know, I think fashion design because of the textile, you know, the way it's, it's on your body or the it's I think it's it's something that you have to need experience and you have to be very subtle, you know, to understand everything. You know, a car is a bit like that. Oh, it looks. You don't know why he looks yeah. like that way, but what do you mean he looks that way? You know, it's 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 something very refined and complex. I think so. We I think we have an advantage if you understand that. Then uh, you're re it's, it's it's difficult to understand that. But I think you have an advantage if you know already, and then it's easier to understand something about the way you market a car, or, and and also also visuals. I mean, if you in communication, I mean, as a designer, sometimes you're also good at you know understand how to to make some visuals and nice images and, uh, and, and sometimes you're also interested in art and photography and you know a lot about it yeah. because you're not doing it by yourself. You know, you ask a supplier, you ask a photographer, you're paying him to do it. So you need to, to be more, you need to be educated. You need just to be educated to know what's, what's happening, you know, to look at magazines and to go to exhibitions. So it's not so difficult, you know, but making a car is really difficult. Yeah, it is really difficult. But you know what's really interesting for me is that you say that you you put fashion in that level as well. And I'm not disagreeing with you, but I'm pretty ignorant when it comes to fashion design. And I think that um, it surprises me that you would even say that because I would never. I mean, I I oversimplify it in my head, but in my mind, I'm I I would say that fashion design is a lot easier than car design. Because I've, I've two, two of my good friends, they are uh, couturiers, you know, they are actually yes. they are the modelers working for companies such as Céline and Chanel. And wow. So we have discussions about that. So they are not really creative people, uh, but they make things. And, uh, and, and, and it's really interesting. And you see how complex it is. 
Uh, because and, of things like just how it sits on the body. And yeah, you've got and a, because the material itself, and you don't know why it's it's good or not. I think it's what I compare to, you know, you see a silhouette and the, and the guy, if you talk about men, you know, it's, it's yes. even more difficult for men because there's almost nothing, you know, where you just have a suit, a black suit. Yes, yes. And the guy is entering the room, oh, he looks good or it doesn't look good, but can you understand why? Same, same body, you know, same, same guy. He looks yes. with a one suit, he looks good, and, and sometimes it doesn't look good. And it's millimeters. It's something, and it's, you don't even know what it is. I think car wow. design is the same. You, you, yeah. you yeah, know yeah. what I mean? You can yeah. do a sedan, and some sedans, you know, just, a, you know, no design theme, you know, just like regular thing. And wow, it looks good or it doesn't look good. Why? It's, and not so many people can say why. And I think that's why it's, um, I would compare car design, yeah, with a black suit, a man wow. black suit, you know? Proportion, yeah. Start, proportion, study proportion, yeah. finish, you know, precision, or just a little thing that makes it looks good. That's really interesting. Yeah, no, I I didn't think about that, but it it's it's very true. Yeah, because I always, I mean, I've oversimplified it in my head. You know, I've always just thought that you know the 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 um you know the the head of the the label would just go like, oh, I like that comment, I like that comment, but maybe we just you know change the material, you know. But it's yeah. all about how it fits on the body, right? And everybody is unique. Yeah, actually, I'm talking more about the, the couturier it, itself, the, the people that are making. Right. Uh, I think they are the really talented guy. The other one is the kind of the, the, the head, the, yes. the fashion designer is more like yes. the artist, the guy that feels the mood, you know, the, the, what is the, the next big thing, you know? Yes. So they have another talent. And, I, and my friend, sometimes they tell me it's true that sometimes you get just a rough sketch uh, with not so many explanations and they have to trans translate that with something physical you know <laughs> they have I, to just make something out of it and they are they are really good at it you know that's pretty mad, but I, I have to, like, we kind of, I mean, as a modeler, depending on the designer that you work with, sometimes we are faced with the same thing, but I think that for the most part, you know, a good design director will be able to say, okay, the reason why this is not working is that, you know, the, the, the shoulder line is, um, there's not enough tension in it, or the relationship between that and the sill is not right, et cetera, et cetera, but um, it seems like... Um, yeah, from what you're saying, the couturier has got a lot less to, to work with. You know, they have to make it work. And if they don't, then, you know, it's their fault, which, again, <laughs> it happens with us as well, you know. You see? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Stefan, you have done um, a lot of different things. I mean, you've been at Renault for a long time. I mean, your yeah, whole career indeed. pretty much. But yeah. it's changed so um, you've done so many different roles within within that company. Um, I, you know, you've 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 been the head of concept cars. You've done the same for production as well. Um, is there is there something that you like more than anything else in terms of um, your role at this stage of your career? Yeah, obviously. I have to be fair. It's uh, I have to be honest. I mean, making concept cars, it's uh, it's the best, especially when you Patrick Lecaymont, Renault. I think he he brought this concept car culture that maybe he learned at at Ford at the time or in the US, you know, and you know the the the, the dream cars, you know, the you, you remember. I mean, in the even the the invented concept cars, you know, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. early in, yeah. uh, in the just before the Second World War, you know, you had the first concept car from from Jim, and um, so I think he brought that culture, and so we had a super nice team and process about that. And I remember when I talked to my my my, my mates, my friends in other companies, they were jealous, you know, oh, are you at Renault, you have the right time, the right budget, so we had a really great structure, and I think we that's. As a designer, that is such a nice experience because, yeah, it's. Uh, I would. I wouldn't say it's easy because you are competing against guys that are also doing amazing concepts sometimes, and then then, so you don't have the problem so much problem with the money or, or so or the process sometimes, but but uh, you have a certain pressure because you need to do the something that is going to be great for the show. You know, you know that you're going to 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 be displayed at the next motor show. So you have a, a, a positive pressure, you know, ah, it has to be the best, uh, you know, and, and, and 
and you can do it if you want. You know, if you you cannot say, oh, uh, the the engineer said I cannot make that or or this or because of the marketing and the customer he doesn't want this or blah blah blah. So as a designer, you it's it's uh, it's the dream because you can do whatever you want, but it's not too easy because also. Uh, you are competing against other designers that that can also do something amazing. So I think it's it's a right balance for us, you know. Having this, uh, uh, yeah, this uh, process like that, I think it's the best. And uh, and the teamwork is great because it's so uh, short time, small team. That's the best. You just you know you a true teamwork. You don't you don't have this what is happening in big companies where. It's heavy, you know, like, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. you need to wait for the next meeting and the guy didn't answer, but nah, nah, nah. he has to ask to his boss and blah, blah, blah. And you have loops forever and, uh, and, and you always make compromise. So it, it takes forever and it finish on a compromise that you are not, n- nobody's really happy with most of the time, you know, designer. Oh, okay. Uh, it's not what I wanted, but it's, it's not so bad. And the engineer said, it's not what I wanted, but it's not so bad. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, at the end of the day, making concept cars, you don't have such a thing. So you, it's, it's, it's so cool. I was talking um, extensively to, to Axel about this and, and, um, and you know, you've just, you've just said it now with um, how much Patrick did in terms of creating this kind of culture and this importance and, um, of, of having a dedicated team and a budget to creating these vehicles. Because yeah. to, to convince a board that we need to spend millions of euros on this thing that is, you know, just basically it's, you know, it's, uh, it can be viewed as like totally self-indulgent, you know, like yeah. just, just, just like, you know, kids playing around. Um, but I think that that's, you know, that, and that's probably why Renault is like, they produce the amazing show cars that they, they do because of, of what he did basically. I mean, that's, yeah. that's, that's the way that I see it from the outside. Yeah. Well, it's interesting to see that it's uh, much more serious that, that, than, than we, we, we could think is that also, I remember uh, the first time I did the role, we were um, judged also by the company on the media coverage performance, if you see what I mean. So, and especially at the end, the last, uh, the, my last role when I, I did the one with uh, Lawrence uh, Van den Acker, it was, it was uh, with internet, was even more precise. So they have many tools on the motor show. They know how many people uh, are coming on the booth, how long they stay. Uh, they can check on internet, how many views, how the positive comments, neutral comments, negative comments, blah, blah, blah. And then you, 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 at the end of the day, you have to show my concept car is worth doing it because tac, tac, tac. And then if you, if you are buying advertising, wherever, it would cost you 10 times more than that. Right. So that's why that's the way that, that was our business model, basically. Okay, you, have, you seem to have fun. As you said, it seems not to be so serious. But at the end of the day, we are making money out of it somehow. Not, you know, we are... We are, we are showing an image, uh, brand image. We are improving brand image and for, for nothing. Even sometimes we, you know, we couldn't even buy that. So that, that was the way we also we, we use concept cars. How do you control, how do you control those things? 